My name is Marvin X Plus, aka Mr. Sexy Dad Hat on for Coach Lou League. And today I will be doing a review on John Wick. John Wick's last spoiler review, you know me. Uh, John Wick, as the price is increasing everly on John Wick head, the legendary hitman known as the Boogeyman, John Wick seeks out friends from the underworld to overthrow the high table. Now, he seeks out these people like uh, from Paris, Berlin, uh, Japan. He's just, John Wick is fighting. And my God, how we get reintroduced to the character after delay of film. Like, the, the introduction was just something nice. It was the heartbeat, the will to continue to fight. How Lawrence Fishburne just delivered that message was just so powerful to me. Like, I loved every bit of it, that message. And John Wick, he is back better than ever, man. Kills after kills. He's racking up the body count. Anything is being used as a weapon. But the thing that stands out for me, for me, is the new people they introduce to this fourth installment of John Wick. Nobody and Donnie Yen, uh, Kane character. Donnie Yen, he stole the show. He stole the show. He stole the show. A blind man. How he was fighting. He was eating those noodles. And the guy said, hey, aren't you about to help us out? He was in the dark. And you see how he utilized this gadget and see him fighting. He was a bad man. He reminded me of Sticks from uh from Daredevil. He reminded me of him. I don't know. <laughs> Is it because they are both are blind? But Donnie Yen, oh man, he did a fantastic job. I loved his character. His character is the best character from the John Wake franchise. I got to give it to Donnie Yen. I got to give it to him. He was the best, and we also get introduced to this character that goes by the name of Nobody. Uh, he was tight, man. He reminded me of Kanye West. Man, man, I saw the, the weekend up in this movie, and I also saw, seen Kanye West. Man, it's crazy, but Nobody, man, he was he was a man uh, requiring money. He was greedy. He didn't care about how he got the money. He kept bribing him. He kept on up the score, up the score. I love that about his character. He has a goal. And um uh, and like his goal is high. And if you don't meet him at his highest, he don't want to go there. And you got to meet him there. You know what I'm saying? And and I th and I felt that nobody he was a good character. I like this character in the dog. I don't know what is up but John Wick loves them German Shepherds. I do not know what it is, but they love them German Shepherd dogs. I don't know what it is, but they utilized them twice up in the previous John Wick and also this one. Action, it's it's better. The action is better, but it's more to the extreme side. Uh, they got bulletproof tuxedos, man. It's crazy, man. They got bulletproof tuxedos and the fighting choreography was fire it was it was great as always man you already know who won this the raid that team um has transfer has transferred to this movie and like it shows it shows and they also had this uh asian chick named akira she was nice she was out there fighting she was she had that she had that uh bow and arrow she was just launching mad people oh my god God, Tomb Raider, man, she was fighting, just going in on people, man. Clever ways, uh, agile, stabbing people. I'm like, okay, cool. I like this Asian girl. She's tight, too. She was freaking fire. And John Wick, John Wick, the boogeyman. Um, Man, he go through hell from the beginning in the second act, in the third act, and my gosh, I want to say, um, John Wick was fire. I like the scenery. The, the scenery was so nice at times, man. Them up in Japan was just so beautiful. If you just seen the freaking uh uh flowers, 
It was just, it popped. It was the neon colors that Japanese, man, when they were up in Japan, it was beautiful. It was straight up beautiful and it kept the scenery throughout the freaking movie. Like it was just epic, just pure epic awesomeness at its highest level in me. I love that about it. And the third act, the third act was my freaking favorite. It referenced the Warriors. I don't know if you guys, you guys heard of the Warriors. Hold on, I probably got it over here. I don't got it right here. Dang, I had the DVD, but uh, I don't got it right here. But, but the Warriors, man. Uh, and they shot Cyrus. It referenced that up in the third act. For all you boppers out there, John Wick, it's a hit out on it. I like how they played it off. And like I like how it was a nod to the Warriors. Like, yeah. And we about to do that. And he had to make his way at, at a certain location b before sunrise, I think. And like, man, that scene was fire action. And like, I, I, I took it how and the Warriors have to make it back to Coney Island. And then it was a bunch of obstacles up in their way. It was the Orphans. It was the, um, it was the Baseball Furies. It was the Raiders. It was all types. And they had to make it back home. And they gave that same treatment to John Wick. He had to be at his location to fight for his freedom. That was fire. That was freaking fire. A hey, good idea. I love the concept. That was fire. That was fire. Chad, uh, stuck, I don't know the director's name. I'm sorry, but you did a great job. I cannot pronounce your name. I'm sorry if I butchered you, your name, but you did a, a fantastic job. And also, it was at times, um, it re, it's a, it's a particular fighting scene up in the third act. It reminded me of that photo, how it was the bird eye view, and you see how he was, how he was killing all of the people. They referenced Grand Theft Auto. I love that. Bird eye view, like that's fire, man. I thought that was tight to me, man. How they did it. It was the execution. This movie is epic. It is everything. It is awesome. It is it is it is everything that I want from a John Wick. Um um this man is fighting for his freedom. He's fighting for it. And you got some snakes up in the grass but but overall man this movie was tight it was entertaining it was exciting it was all of those things and me uh through it all man me just witnessing john wick and for those of you who do not know stay for the end credits it's an end credits they give you that mcu treatment the, the end credits please stay at the end of the movie this was just epic it was fire I'm so happy that, um, hey man, this fourth movie did not disappoint. It did not disappoint. It checked all of my boxes that I wanted to see. If I had to, if I had to give this movie a grade, me, I would give it a straight out A. A, A, A across the board. It's an A because of the action action it was elevated it was at its peak it was at its highest man and they did new things and in me i can appreciate that being a action junkie i can appreciate all of those things and uh keanu reeves he did his thing the whole cast had did their thing director writers the costume designers they all did their thing and me um I'm happy, and uh, Keanu Reeves is, is keeping the action genre going, man. The heart is still beating. It's still beating. It isn't a quiet sound. It's a large It's a large pound, and it's thrusting. I love it, man. John Wick for the win. My name is Marvin X. Foss, a.k.a. Mr. Sexy Dad Hat on. As if I was Little League, if it doesn't got that X, that sound is real. It's authentic. Marvin X. Foss, two fingers. Peace out. <laughs>